I spent a lot of time traveling around the country and consulting with various colleges and universities that have decided that are thinking about implementing a co-requisite course or have decided to do so and are struggling with how to do that. And what's been really helpful for me about that process is I've come to understand what the challenges are for a faculty member who finds him or herself teaching in a co-requisite environment. And so I knew, based, based with those kinds of challenges and questions that I was hearing from the colleges I was visiting, I knew that the hub would have to have a really strong system of instructor support, a really strong instructor's manual. The question I heard most often, the, the thing that instructors I was meeting with were struggling with the most is, how do I draw up the syllabi for these two courses? How do I coordinate these two courses? There are three things that we do, we can do in a co-requisite section. One, you can have a discussion, do some activity, uh, have a conversation that prepares your students for whatever's coming up next in English 101, because you know what's coming up next in English 101, and you can help them get ready for it. Or you know, you also know what you just finished covering in English 101, and you can answer any questions they have about it, or you can ask them to do a little more work on whatever that skill was. You can give them more practice, maybe reinforce what you were hoping they learned in English 101. And finally, there are issues that come up in the co-requisite section that don't come up in English 101, and particularly those non-cognitive issues, maybe some of those reading issues, and you can address those. I've actually given you my suggestions for how to make that coordination, how to organize. I actually give you schedules side by side for the 101 and the co-requisite section for each of the seven uh, reading writing projects. So the manual that we put together has about six chapters in the beginning that address each of those broad issues in sort of general terms. But in addition, the bulk of the instructor's manual is taken up with either a paragraph or two or three, or even a page or two or three on every single unit in the hub. Every unit has my suggestions for how to introduce it, what to do with it, how to respond to it, what to encourage your students to look out for, and so forth. So there's all kinds of teaching advice in the instructor's manual keyed to every unit in the hub.